everyone, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Silent Sky Shader. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday. I got some breaking news. It's official. Ben Roethlisberger, the the legendary quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers, has announced his retirement. Yes, he is re Yes. He is retired. He announced his retirement after 18 seasons with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he has all man, it has been. Drafted in the league since 2004, and man, he put up a lot of big numbers, man. Yeah, there might be some controversy, you know, and all that. Here, let me, I'll read this from the Sporting News. The Big er, the big Ben era is officially over. Long time Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger announced his retirement Thursday morning, saying in a video posted to his Twitter account that he is walking away from the NFL as a truly grateful man. The, dis the journey has been accelerating, defined by relationship and fueled by a spirit of competition, Roethlisberger said. Yet, the time has come to clean up my locker, hang up my cleats, and continue to be all I can be with my wife and children. The Steelers' loss and the Chiefs in the wildcard round in the 2022 NFL playoffs marks the end of a career that's been 18 seasons, all of which came from the franchise that selected Ben Roethlisberger in the first round in the 2004 NFL Draft. Now let's take a look at his season stats. Ben Roethlisberger finished with one of the least impressive stat nearly stat line of his nearly two-decade tenure with the Steelers. Roethlisberger threw for 3,740 3, yards to a total that barely cracked his top 10 seasons. He also hit the lowest mark of his career for yards per protect 6.2, while when excluded the 2019 season, in which he played only just two games. These numbers, the numbers were not all surprising considering Roethlisberger is approaching his 40th birthday and has to deal with several significant injuries over the years. This version of Roethlisberger simply didn't have the same level of athleticism at RJ than Prime Ben. Yeah. Yeah, because in Prime Ben, I mean, he started 16 games. Um, he's 9 and 7. This season, he started off 16 games. 9 and 7. He had a completion rating of 64.5, 3,740 3, passing yards, 22 touchdowns, 10 picks, 6.2 yards per, per attempt, 233.8 yards per game, a quarterback rating of 86.8. He's been sacked 38 times, led, had six fourth quarter comebacks, and seven game winning drives. Now, his career stats with, with the uh, Steelers is something to be old. Despite the final, the rough final stress, Roethlisberger enjoyed an incredible overall run. He finished fifth in the all-time passing yards list, only behind Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, and Brett Favre. He also landed in the top five in, on the all-time list of pass completions and attempts, and he finished eighth in the all-time list of passing touchdowns. Perhaps Roethlisberger's most outstanding career stat: 41 fourth-quarter comebacks, the third most in NFL history behind only Peyton Manning, who had 43 fourth quarter comebacks, and Tom the Goat Brady, who had 42 comebacks. Here's the list of Peyton Manning's career stats. He played 249 games, his record 165 wins, 81 losses, and one draw. His completion rating, his career completion rating, 64.4. His career passing yards, 64,088 yard passing yards, 418 career touchdowns, 211 career interceptions, 7.6 yards per attempt in his career, 257.4 yards per, per game in his career, a QBR rating of 93.5. He's been sacked 554 times, led 41 four-quarter comebacks, and, f and 53 game-winning drives. He did start two. He did start in two games, which was in 2004 and 2015. He's a two-time Super Bowl champion. He's a two-time Super Bowl champion, a six-time Pro Bowler, a two-time NFL passing yards leader, and he and he beat out. And he managed to win the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year in his 2004 in the 2004 campaign. Yeah, he will be missed. He will be missed. But I will. But I will have to say, hey, Big Ben, 
Congrats on uh, having congrats on having a one hell of a career, and enjoy retirement, man. You really deserve it. And I wouldn't be too surprised if you guys get into the hall. If you get into the hall of fame. I wouldn't be surprised if you get into the hall of fame. So, I mean, yeah, people are gonna be y'all saying, well, you know, even though he had a nice legacy with the Steelers, he not there is some stains on his legacy. Like you know, he never he never beaten Tom Brady on his trip. He never beat Tom Brady on his trip to uh, the Super Bowl. That's staying in his legacy. He never managed to manage to get past um to, managed to play against managed to uh, avoid the Tom Brady to make it to the Super Bowl. That's staying on his legacy. He went one and done against quarterbacks like Tim Tebow, or Blake Bortles, or Joe Flacco. That's staying on legacy. But, but, but let's not let's not draw on that. Let's not draw on that. That's just ex let's just. Be happy he had a hell of a career. And that's it for, yeah, so, you know, that's it for now. So, that's it for this one. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you don't miss other updates. Share your friends, share your neighbors, say civic others. And that's about it. Until next time, this is Darkshot 2K7, a.k.a. Sauce Sky City, signing off. Catch you later. Peace. And all I can say is thank you, Ben. Thank you for the wonderful me memories. You know, if Tom Brady doesn't retire and play one more season, he'll outlast he'll outlast um Big Ben. I mean, after all, he's been outlasting goddamn quarterbacks for God knows how long. The man's like the man is like a goddamn Terminator. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see.